वेलकम टू साइंस क्लास सो टुडे आई शिवानी योर साइंस टीचर अगेन हेयर टू टेल यू अबाउट द टॉपिक सेपरेशन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस आर यू एक्साइटेड लेट्स स्टार्ट सेपरेशन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मिक्सचर व्हाट इज मिक्सचर लेट्स सी अ मिक्सचर इज अ सब्सटेंस दैट कंटेन्स two or more pure substances mixed together in different proportions pure substances consist of particles of only one kind there are two type of mixtures let's discuss about them the first one is homogeneous mixture and the second is heterogeneous mixture so homogeneous mixture it is a mixture in which the constituents are uniformly distributed and each part of the mixture has the same property like salt dissolves in water to form a homogeneous mixture particles of soil and water are uniformly distributed and each part of the mixture has the same property next heterogeneous mixtures it is a mixture in which the constituents do not get mixed uniformly and each part of the mixture has different properties example sand and sawdust form a heterogeneous mixture each part of the mixture has different properties let's discuss the properties of mixture so the first property is the constituent of a mixture can be in any ratio second the constituent can be separated by simple methods and third is they retain the individual property because they do not lose their own identity reasons for separating mixtures separation means to remove one thing from the other the main reasons for separation of the substances in a mixture are given below so the first one is to obtain pure substances from mixture second to obtain useful constituents and the third is to remove harmful components from mixtures now let's discuss about the methods of separation of mixtures so separation of solids from other solids and this can be done by these four methods the first one is hand picking second is threshing third is winnowing and the fourth is sieving so let's discuss about them hand picking in this method the undesirable solid substance is separated from the useful substance by hand this method is applicable only when the undesirable solid is present in small quantities and the quantity of the mixture is also not very large next is threshing threshing the process of separating grains from stalks by beating it on a large stone it is also done by using machines this method is particularly used in agriculture fields next is winnowing The process of separating lighter components of a mixture from the heavier ones with the force of wind this is known as winnowing and the last is sieving this method is used to separate the components of mixtures which differ in size the size of the holes in the sieve depend on the size of the components to be separated now let's discuss about the separating insoluble solids from the liquids or that can be water So the first is sedimentation the process in which the heavier particles of an insoluble solid in a liquid settle down at the bottom this is known as sedimentation decantation the process that follows sedimentation it involves pouring out the liquid without disturbing the sediments filtration the process of separating insoluble solids present in a liquid using a filter Filtration is also used to separate pulp from fresh juice and for preparing paneer at home. Now loading during sedimentation the heavier particles settle down very quickly but finer particles take longer time. Finer particles can be made to settle faster by dissolving a small quantity of alum to the muddy water. This method is called loading. Now separating soluble solids from their solution this can be done by three methods 
first is evaporation second is condensation and the third is distillation so the process of changing of liquid into vapor on heating the process of evaporation is used to obtain salt from sea water next is condensation the process of changing of vapor into liquid on cooling we can get water from salt solution by this process and the last is distillation it is a process of obtaining both the dissolved soluble substance and the liquid in which it is dissolved in this method mixture is heated in a flask the solid component is left behind in the flask and the liquid is collected in another flask with the help of the condenser now solubility and solution water is an universal solvent because it can dissolve many thing in it when a substance is dissolved in water it forms a solution the substance that dissolve is called solute and the substance in which the solute dissolves is called solvent and the result mixture is called the solution a solution in which no more solute can be dissolved at a given temperature is called a saturated solution solubility the extent to which a substance get dissolved in a liquid is called its solubility and the last topic is solubility of a gas in water aquatic animals use oxygen dissolved in water solubility of gases in water decreases with rise in temperature and it increases with decrease in temperature hope you have enjoyed the video and learned something from it so till then wait for the next video stay happy stay safe bye bye everyone